Right, the Lubbock Compact Foundation celebrating one of their projects now being awarded a huge grant that will hopefully improve our air quality here in the Hub City. Here's KLBK's Landry Seno with more. Well, this grant is going to be a game changer for the Hub City, but more specifically for the residents that live here in Northeast Lubbock. Being almost $483,000, the money is going to go towards a three-year air quality study, and it's the first of its kind here in our area. Uh, I, maybe it's best described in that... Um, in taking on this project, it, it kind of lets the genie out of the bottle. We don't know what the ultimate outcomes are. We're going to follow the science wherever that leads us. The Lubbock Environmental Action Project, or LEAP, follows up on a 2021 study by Texas Tech and others. This revealed some concerning numbers of people with asthma in our city, especially those who live in northeast Lubbock. We're talking about generations. I mean, my, from my grandmother to now my great-granddaughter living in the same neighborhood. There are toxins, there are things in the air that are affect, you know, our quality of life and our livelihoods. Now, thanks to the grant, the Environmental Protection Agency will conduct a three-year air quality study to hopefully figure out why this is happening. We will start as a network of uh, 40 air quality monitors throughout the city uh, to look at our city's air quality in a comprehensive way. In year two, we will analyze and look for hot spots in that um, data. Then over all of that, we'll have um, a robust community engagement strategy. I'm just hopeful that because of the uh, grant that we received, we'll maybe um, reduce a lot of what is going on here with the with these uh, industries and, and these toxins that are being released in the air. Now, if you feel the air quality in your area could use some improvements, Lubbock Compact wants to hear from you. The study should start early next year sometime, but we'll keep you updated over on our website, everythinglubbock.com, on that official start date once it's revealed. Reporting in North Lubbock, Landry Senna, KLBK News.